Hey, hey, it's CDA and welcome back to Dune Spice Wars. An awesome update with life today and here is a quick overview so you know what to expect. Now, first and foremost, you can now destroy your friends in multiplayer. And multiplayer joining is as simple as just joining a game and clicking the game that you want that has open slots and then you can go or you can make your own game and, well, basically set it in whatever way you want. Now, if you join the multiplayer button and you don't see anyone popping up, you might want to check where your server region is. So there is quite a few servers at the moment depending on where you're located in the world. If you want to play one-to-one -one directly, you can do so as well. Uh, in general, this should be quite straightforward, but remember the patch went live just a few hours ago when I'm recording this. So as you could tell in my screen right now, there's not like tons and tons of people making games just yet. But that will change, I think, over the next few days, especially during the next weekend. So, um, but of course, if you want to play with people, just create your own game. Now, the cool thing is that it's not just free for all. You can actually do team play as well. So you can do two versus two. And if you can't find enough players to completely fill up your game or you just want to play against the AI, you can. So you can fill the empty slots with AI components if that is what you want to do. One of the factions that actually got a quite nice upgrade was the smugglers. You were always able to build buildings as underworld headquarters in the main base of your enemies once you hit the 10k hegemony requirement, but the buildings were quite underwhelming. Now, they're not still overpowered or anything yet either, but there are a few new buildings being added. So first of all, we now have the Spice Traffickers, which produces five spice per active half spice harvester of this faction. So if this faction has three spice harvesters running around, that is 15 free spice for you. On top of that, we have the Beacon Network, which basically gives allied military units an additional two armor whenever you are in their territory. So that makes it a lot easier to actually attack them. And then the third new building that was added to the Underworld Headquarters is the Schema Lodge. This produces five intel per active 3D with this faction. And near the end of the game, you definitely want to be trading with the other factions because of the free Solari and free... Uh, knowledge so that should be a massive boost to your intel production if you can keep this up with all the different factions so definitely some nice improvements for the smugglers now on top of that the smuggler wrecker unit was also changed a little bit uh, it's not a massive overhaul but you might see some effect of that in your gameplay as well now the next change is going to be awesome for some of you and some of you might not even know it was a thing to begin with so, right now you can no longer accidentally attack a siege. So you will actually need to confirm you attack. So you right click first to attack and then you need to confirm it manually before you can start attacking the siege. Apparently quite a few people were accidentally clicking these things and attacking them, pillaging them. And well, if you've never attacked one, there's quite a few armies in there. So you don't want to accidentally piss them off. Well, that problem is now completely solved. Speaking of sieges, if you are playing the Fremen, you are probably used to building these overpowered buildings in the sieges that you are allied with. You can still do that, but there is now a global limit of one building of each type. So for example, over here, I already built a Fremen trade hub in a different siege, which means I can no longer build it anywhere else. No more stacking of overpowered buildings in your sieges, people. I'm sorry. Another nice, even though it's not a high stakes change, is the fact that militia in towns will now not no longer aggro from the other side of the map. So your units are actually allowed to get a little bit closer than before, before you will actually trigger the attack and draw out the enemy units. A change I specifically really enjoy is the fact that factions that are out of the game, so they actually got eliminated somehow already, can no longer win things like votes. Now this was a very strange mechanic, especially if you were playing against the Atreides, in which they tended to win Lantrat's votes while they were no longer present on the planet. So I'm um, not entirely sure why that worked like that in the first place, but at least now it got changed. You're no longer losing against the Atreides while you already killed them. 
Now there are a lot of other smaller changes to the game. So for example, all the Harkonnen units got a little bit of a rework, nothing major as far as I can tell, but still small changes here and there. The AI actually got a pretty interesting boost as well. So one of the things I've noticed so far is that the AI is no longer standing in the sand waiting to be eaten by worms, but they will actually actively try to retreat as soon as there is a worm anywhere nearby. Thing, similar things is that I've seen the AI reposition their units a little bit, especially when it comes to ranged units every now and then. And all of those little changes might just give you a better experience in terms of gameplay. Now, something else that's worth noting is that there's new zones, there's new events, there's new resolutions for the launch rod. All of these things are nothing major but of course they do bring a nice little touch to the game that you might find interesting in case well you have pretty much seen it all and you're looking to experience something new and this was a quick overview of the update of june spice wars i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you like and subscribe if you are interested in finding out more about the fremen and the smugglers i have a guide on both of those factions coming up really soon and they should be showing up on your screen assuming that they are live on the channel but if they're not it will be later this week now i hope you enjoyed this guys and i will catch you in the next one